Welcome back to I Suck Sticks Heart Cinema Episode 6.5. If you haven't listened to Episode 6 yet, come on, man. What are you doing? You know, <laughs> you know the drill here. Go listen to 6. Come back. Listen to 6.5. Do it all together. It's three hours out of your day. What else are you going to do with those three hours? Nothing. Enjoy. I think we'll start. We've yeah. got, got three games to go here, so I think we'll skip the uh, in-betweens. Between, maybe be, between the, the two sets of lanterns, we can do one for the fuck of it? Okay, I, you're going to cry about I, it. I, I was asking if you wanted to. I didn't well, I need you to get confrontational for no reason. Hey, you Fine. know what, Scott? Here, here's the deal. Here's the deal. <laughs> if Justin wins this round, we will play a game. Oh, you can just say we're not going to play a game. <laughs> you don't need to put weird stipulations on it. If Justin wins this game while only playing in Cantonese, <laughs> does he speak Cantonese or Mandarin? I don't care. Um, uh, I don't care. Whichever one, one he speaks. If he plays the entire game speaking his wonton language <laughs> and wins, we'll play a game in between. Okay. And he's not even here to hear that, so we're not playing it. <laughs> Okay, good. Glad we... That was good whispering for a podcast where the recorder is, like, three feet away from me. I'm glad we settled that. Alright, so... I'm glad Nick picked me, because I don't think I'm going to be winning any games. (laughs) Well, Chewie's not here. We need to do some filler, so I'm going to say... Alex McConnell, what's up? Thanks for listening. Thanks for his friend. (laughs) That is your Alex shout-out of the podcast. The one guy we always know was... We actually, um... I was uh, looking at stats for the episodes, and we've seen, between the different media we release on, we're getting about, like, uh, a hun- in the low hundreds per episode, which, you know what, is not bad. I'm fine, yeah, I'm fine with a hundred people listening to this. That's probably, that's a 90, well, 98 more than should. Let's be so, fair. Let's so be thank be you to everyone <laughs> listening to this. People aren't necessarily listening to it, they're just downloading it. But they're downloading, like, the, you know, like, the 90 make file, so, like, there's a, there's hopefully a reason they're doing it, unless so they're a weird audio stockpiler. I have 190 comedy Bang Bang podcasts, I've listened to, like, 16. <laughs> so it doesn't mean that I, that people are listening to it, it just means that they we're like, oh, this would probably be good to listen to if I'm stuck at a train station for three hours. <laughs> I don't know why I said train also, station. Also, Who takes trains? Also, my city doesn't have trains. <laughs> trains? If I get no, locked... that hypothetical person. If I get locked in a closet in a hospital and all I have on me is my iPod or phone, then I'll listen to it. If Alan Rickman is holding me hostage with his dick... <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Potter. Going somewhere, Mr. Potter? What if... Alright, sorry, I can't even finish that. But when do you hold your hostage? Where? Oh, not scary old, but never mind. At a train station. (laughs) (laughs) On his knees, with shoes attached to his knees. (laughs) Gary Oldman? I was gonna say, when he holds you hostage, he does it in a different accent. (laughs) Gary Oldman is dwarf? (laughs) Yeah. I love that movie. (laughs) What, Gary Oldman is dwarf? Yes. Because I couldn't stop laughing. (laughs) Okay, so I think we should let Justin start, because he's new to this round. Sure. Justin can start. Alrighty. Alright, Chewie. Justin uh, going... Yeah. Go to Nick? Go to Nick? Sure. Uh, I'll give you three. The biggest one, movies I likey. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite movies, or some of my favorite movies, because I can't fit them all in there. Oh, j- just quick, quick tip to Nick, just to put him on something of a level <laughs> playing field. Hey, we're still here. Oh, Google's asking us if we're still here. I got that, too. Yeah, we are. <laughs> uh, yeah, just to put Nick on the same level as us, uh, Kelly, I'm going to say, <laughs> exclusively watches werewolf movies. <laughs> so keep that in mind. <laughs> werewolf movies and anything that stars Liam Neeson. Yeah, I so The Grey is his favorite movie. <laughs> <laughs> we refer to it as The Kelly Movie. <laughs> to be fair, I've maybe only seen six movies with Liam Neeson. That you can think of right now. You might have seen more that you've forgotten. Six <laughs> movies with Liam Neeson on Friday. <laughs> Three of them are Star Wars films. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, are yes. there any crossovers? Is Liam Neeson in any werewolf movies? I don't think he's in a not reg- werewolf he's, movie. He's in, he's in a regular wolf in a regular movie. Wolf movie. I don't think he's in any werewolf yeah. movies. All right. So yeah, so movies I like. Schindler's List was werewolves, wasn't it? Two yeah, werewolves, not two werewolves. Well, not two werewolves. Yeah, two yeah. werewolves. <laughs> I mean, he was in High Spirits, but that was ghosts. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sorry, Kelly, continue. We're sorry we're likey, likey. Yeah. 
Uh, screw you guys, I'm going home. Movies and actors in that made him quit the business. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. That's awesome. Uh, I think one. Save that one for next, and then just eat it. Movies where people get eaten. <laughs> <laughs> by, oh, by any variety of things. things. Okay. Kelly's in the boar. <laughs> <laughs> eat me. Now jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> Gets me hard. <laughs> Uh, Alright, let's go movies you like. Alright. I'm gonna give you a couple here. We got. Uh, is it The Howling or The Howling 2? <laughs> the Howling 2 does Howling not have that curse. amazing uh, no. transformation scene. No, Howling 1's awesome. Alright. So, movies I like. So, we got 2003, mm-hmm. 1993, mm-hmm. Uh, 1998, 1997. Oh, so many years. And. 1922. What's happening? Where am I? <laughs> My God. What have <laughs> I done? Cute <laughs> bunch of Jewy math nerds. Yeah. Uh, let's go. He hit 20 years. I, I lost it. I can't uh, remember a single one besides 1922. <laughs> okay, you want me to read him again? Uh, did you say 93? I did say 93. Let's go back. Okay. Alright, so. You may want to tilt it up so I can't see the screen. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Has a uh, one and a half star. Hmm. Which, uh, yeah, I could probably see that. So you like this a little more than Leonard. <laughs> only, <laughs> only, only slightly, though. Yeah. One and three quarters of a star. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I can't give you much in the description, but uh, it's a bottom of the barrel bore. <laughs> 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 uh, scripted by W.D. Richer, and it's based on a bestseller, but it has eight names. 1993, is this Last Action Hero again? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Is that eight names? Eight names. Let's go with eight, then. And to you, Nick. Seven. That's my, uh, uh, six. Um, Name it Scott Henson. At oh. six. Six of eight. Seven of nine. Seven of nine. Twelve of four. Here are your names. Twenty-five or six to four. <laughs> Here are your names. Valerie Broomfield. Not the Valerie B. I would have guessed. Yes. <laughs> Duncan Fraser. Ray McKinnon. J. T. Walsh. Amanda. Oh, Amanda Plummer and Bonnie. Benalia. My big titty boobies. What kind of bullshit are you watching? <laughs> <laughs> I think I have an idea of what it is. Uh, 93. Think of 93 werewolf movies. It's I am thinking. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, the movies I likey, none of them are werewolf movies. What? What? <laughs> I am shocked. This is a shocking development in the history of the show. <sighs> At least someone has been replaced by a normal person. <laughs> Uh, what's a shitty movie <laughs> you like from 1983 with a bunch of people I don't know and Amanda Plummer? Now, even if I give you, well, even if I give you the top two, you probably wouldn't have got it. Really? Drew. <laughs> I have an idea, but I, I'm not I'm sure. I'm not well, to take a look. Oh. 93. Fuck. Oh. Wow. Really? I like, well, I haven't seen it in forever. <laughs> okay. I don't want to get any help here. I'm going to get this point. I, I will <laughs> say the last time I saw this was maybe in high school. Yeah, okay. I remember really liking it. I've never seen it. I'm going to go with... Uh, what would the timing be? I'm going to say The Land Before Time 3. <laughs> <laughs> Did I get it? Nope. Mm. The top two names that were left were Ed Harris and Max von Snow. Yeah! Needful Things! Yeah. Great mm. movie. Stephen King book. Great yeah. movie. Not on my Stephen King list. Should have been. I know very, what very I, underrated very, movie. I know what I haven't seen it. Very good book too. Hmm. Kelly, this Go is on. I sucks dicks heart cinema, not Kelly reads books. But I suggest we record Kelly reads books. And it's just it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's an audio recording of Kelly reading a book to himself. But like n- not no, reading no, it out loud. No, just quietly, yeah. quietly yeah. reading a book. Yeah. Yeah. 
So not so much a podcast as an audiobook. Yeah. An yeah. audiobook of nothing. But yeah, it's silent. Like, it's Kelly reading a book by himself, you get not a, out loud. You get, you get a, at the 20, 20 minute mark, you get a, you get a quick, like, <clears throat> clearing up the throat. Yeah, him taking a drink of water. Pages slipping. Occasional page turning. Answers his phone. Okay. All right, so I guess Drew gets a point there if you want to be like that. So we are Nick, <laughs> Nick going to Justin while Drew flips me off like a child. No, or it's a basketball. I've never seen it. Uh, I've seen it 20 times. <laughs> <laughs> Drew and Nick? Yeah. yeah, Nick going to Justin. All right, Nick, so your categories will be, again, movies I likey, uh, the screw you guys, I'm going home, and... I'm liking that. The werewolf movie. <laughs> <laughs> which, which could be a subcategory yeah, of the I'm liking movie. Very true. We couldn't have set you up for that better. How good is that? Oh, I love it. That's incredible. <laughs> planned it for years. <laughs> I've been thinking about this since I was eight years old. I dripped off to my first werewolf movie. <laughs> Was it the Howling 2? No, there's no... Yeah. Yeah. Doing howling too. There's gotta be something. There's no 15-minute transformation scene. It is a great transformation it's scene. It's so good. As much as I want to find out what the fuck that 1922 movie is, <laughs> I'm gonna go with I'm liking that. Nice. Okay. So, your years are 1984, 1987, and 1996. names. Leonard uh, says it's an intriguing idea mirrored in murky presentation, encompassing several different stories, strange, slow, and unsatisfying. What year was it again? 1984. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. And, and it's six names. Encompassing several different stories? Yep. Well, shit. <laughs> I was hoping I could flex my horror muscles, but... Uh, six. Five. I hit 84, so yeah. Uh, I will say uh, just since you named that movie. Ah, did you have it? Uh, pretty good idea. What? Uh, so how many names? Five or six. Thing is, probably not a lot of big names in it. That's what I was thinking months. too, and I couldn't. Werewolf movies. I don't think I could have done it at. So Joey gets five names. Five or five or six. Five or six. Everybody, everybody but the number one. All right, Joey, here are your names. Graham Croden, Sarah Patterson, uh, looks like Tusi Silberg, uh, Stephen Ray, and David Warner. I'm sure those helped. Oh, yeah. Immensely. 1984? Yeah. Werewolf movie. Bunch of names. I don't know. <laughs> How many stars is it? Three? Two. Two. It's, uh... It's a, it's it's back in the time when like in the because in the eighties like you know in the howling how the transformation scenes were really big yeah that's one of the reasons why it was popular because it had uh, one or two transformation scenes that were quite uh, visual yeah that being said I don't know if many people know about it I don't know if I have the year correct in my head it was made in England. <laughs> Now that you said that, I think I might know what it is. <laughs> Any ideas? Because we got some podcast yeah, silence. Yeah, yeah, no. silence going on. 
Ah, right. When you know that when it's radio silence, you know it's me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's yeah. the, I the game. same thing. Uh, Throw it out there, Shuri. Say something out of your mind. Uh, I got nothing. The only thing I can come up with, and I know it's wrong, is American World from London. No, I think that's earlier. Yeah, it's yeah, the 70s. Yeah, 70s. 70s. The, 70s. the yeah. last name remaining was Angela Lansbury. And oh, sh- Murder, she wolf! <laughs> <laughs> I think I've seen this movie in the, in the movie stores before. Yeah, the movie is called The Company of Wolves. Yeah. It is the movie yeah. where the wolf comes oh. up to the guy's mouth. Yes. 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 Yeah. Is that the picture on the, like, yes. the movie box? Yeah. The yeah. Box yeah. Well. yeah. Yeah. I don't like that. Is that actually a transformation or something coming out of something else? There is, there because there's other stories, right? So oh, there okay. are other wolf transformations in it. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. That was a piece of shit. <laughs> Uh, that was me telling Chewy to name it. Yeah. Uh, so Nick to me. Nick to Scott. All right. So again, movies I like. Uh, just eat it and screw you guys. I'm going home. I really want something to pick the 1922 movie. <laughs> <laughs> Only Dan will. Yeah. You. Yeah. You want Dan for your 1922? I don't think Dan's seen a movie after 1940. <laughs> <laughs> um. Honestly, I really want to know what it is, so I'm going to pick that one. The 1922? Yep. Oh, oh, my, gosh. oh my God. Yes, Nick, my man. I can't even think of a movie before, like, the before The Wizard of Oz. Oh, The Jazz Singer? I thought you were going to say before, like, Total Recall. <laughs> the remake? The remake. <laughs> I don't know movies that weren't produced this year. All right. Man, I so. can't think of a movie before Fern Gully. <laughs> 1922. Reference asshole. Three and a half stars. There's an asshole. Let's see. uh, I don't know if there's much I can. That's the problem. I don't know if there's much I can give in the description. Is it in black and white? (laughs) (laughs) I'll I'll see if I can sort of cheat the description to help you. it's an earlier film version, which is brilliantly eerie, full of imaginative touches that none of the later films quite recapture. And it has four names. Um. Negative one. Whoa, Whoa, I like that. Well, I was you, thinking something along that line, so... You have severely limited my options. <laughs> so I really got no negative choice five. but to say negative five. No, let's, <laughs> say, let's say name it. Is it Dracula starring Bela Lugosi? <sighs> no, very good. Good, yeah, that that would, been, I was thinking something it. right along those That would have been in the 30s or 40s, though, I think. So, the Son name, of a bitch! <laughs> I figured it out. The name starting... You really should have cheated. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, is it horror? It is horror. Yeah. Yeah. Let me, read, read, the, let me read the name. Yeah, the fact that it's being remade over. The name's down up. Greta Schroeder, Gustav von uh, Wagenheim, Alexander Granich, and Max Schreck. No ah, Sparatu. No yeah. Fuck. Yeah, that would have been com- that would come really to Dracula. Yeah. I don't think I've seen that movie, but like that movie? I do like it. It's good. It's good. It's I've good seen bits of it, but no, no, really. Get on like, the Kelly bandwagon. There's a series of really interesting <laughs> yeah, film work. Very eerie film. Maybe I should widen my broad my spectrum and watch something from before the Star Wars era. <laughs> <laughs> hey, first of all, I might be one of the only people who hates Star Wars, so oh, Star Wars. good reference, <laughs> ass. Yeah, we got the, I was going for timing, not Star Wars. So. Oh, well, I still hate all of the Star Wars movies. <laughs> but I've great. actually learned to hate them. I used to be a big Star Wars fan. and uh, uh, yeah, I watched them a lot when I was a kid. But I was like, I this just... movie's kind of shitty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think a lot of people have... I'm, uh, this is some podcast. I think... Uh, I think Matt Belknap on uh, on Never Not Funny uh, also, like, exact same thing as you, like, learned to hate Star Wars. Yeah. After loving it for years. 
Okay, that point went to Scott. That was a point to Scott. Uh, you have two points in this already? What the yeah. f- How did this happen? I haven't told you your name it. I told you your name it. I feel like you're cheating. I feel like you're cheating even more than Nick. And Nick's cheating a lot. Can we agree? He's, yeah. reading <laughs> he's, on, but he's on IMDb right now, or Wikipedia. Like, uh, movies so, from 1922. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so that was me telling Nick. So, we are going, uh, Kelly going to Drew. Kelly want to do? Kelly is hosting. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stick with that. <laughs> Let's maybe go with Justin going to Drew, then. Okay. So, once again, movies I like eat. Mm-hmm. Screw you guys, I'm going home, and just eat it. Let's go just eat it. Okay. Boar. Uh, Old boar. Boar snake. It's one of the pedo bear friends. Yep. Go to Boardville. <laughs> Gonna rub one out while eating this lamb. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the years are 1998. Detach his jaw, unzips pants. <laughs> 1991 and 1986. 98. 98. <laughs> You're, oh, like You're officially a silly goose, Kelly. <laughs> Giggling at your own picks. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, yep. All right. So you got two stars. Mm-hmm. As expected. Uh, for a war film. Yeah. <laughs> a high tech scare movie with a hokey script, some fun in a no brainer on a no brainer level. Uh, seven names. Hmm. Uh, let's start debating at seven. I'll say six. I'll say five. To you, Nick, and to Nick. Four. Nick says four. Name it. Justin says name it. So, four names. You got Derek O'Connor. Uh, who's the guy from Blood Diamond? Uh, Diamond Honsu? Yeah, him. Yeah. Leonardo <laughs> DiCaprio. No. 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 <laughs> Blood Diamond. Is, is it Blood Diamond? Uh, it's not. Okay. Uh, Kevin J. O'Connor. And Wes Study. Magua. <laughs> oh, Wes Study. Or Wes Study, yeah. And that's all you get. Okay. Can you read the names again? Uh, ba, ba, ba. Derek O'Connor. What year is it? Again? It's 1998. 1998. Uh, okay. Uh, what's the guy's name? Jaiman Hansu. Jaiman Hansu. Hansu. Kevin J. O'Connor, which I assume is Derek's brother, and uh, Wes Studi. Wes Studi, you have good times. Seriously. Good dad. He's a good actor. He's a good native actor. He's a native actor. <laughs> let's let's he not time man once. Go overboard. <laughs> He's good for uh, a native actor. <laughs> Ooh, mean. Not good for an actor. He's not good for like a white person. <laughs> but like, it's kind of tough. He's, He's awesome. He's good for He's like. Awesome. He's good for a member of a group of people that have been mostly murdered by white people. <laughs> 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 like he's good for that. <laughs> Any idea? Uh, how many names are there total? You uh, got four of seven? Yeah. Yeah. In 1998, and someone gets eaten. Many people get eaten. Many people get eaten, apparently. Just uh, is it Lake Placid? Oh, that is a good guess. It's a good pick. No. The, uh... Other names? The other names are Anthony Heald, uh, Fam- Jansen, Fam- Fam- Jansen, Fam- Fam- Jansen, Jansen, and uh, Trent Williams. Huh. Yeah, the movie is Fam- the Fam- Relic? What's that? Is it The Relic? No, that's another good guess. That's another good guess. It's a uh, movie called Deep Rising. Oh! oh uh, uh, the sea Monster. Yeah. 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 Touche. I haven't seen that movie in a long yeah, goddamn time. I got a point. Yeah. Point to Justin. Oh, yay. Uh, anyway, so that was Justin telling Nick. Yep. So, Scott to Drew. I haven't picked a category yet. I'm um, yeah, this is very your... excited. So, once again, movies I like eat. Screw you guys, I'm going home. Mm-hmm. And I'm liking that. I'm liking that. We got uh, 1987 and 1996. 
Okay, you got two stars. Uh, five names. Good looking horror movie with a strong performance uh, is underpopulated and predictable. Uh, it's from the novel Thor by Wayne Smith. Interesting. And five actors? Yeah. Yeah, there was what a lot of people again? in it. 1996. Hmm. It's a pretty good werewolf movie. There wasn't a lot of people in it, though. Yeah. Not the one I was thinking going into 1996. Um, no, that was later. You don't know what I was thinking. You don't know me. Yeah, you do. Y'all don't know me. Uh, let's go... Five. Gotta go pretty safe on this. Name it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> your game. This is Drew for the win. It was a five and it. five, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I could have gone four and five, so... Uh, I'm sorry. ready to take that point from you. <laughs> Rothgar Matthews. Rothgar. Rothgar. Isn't that, isn't that, isn't that a city of Skyrim? High for <laughs> yeah. Tempo. Well, only you would know. Can we do it? Mason Gamble. Uh, Michael uh, Pere, I think. And Mariel Hemingway. Muriel Hemingway is the lead in a werewolf movie based on the novel Thor. Wow. Let me tell you right now, not the Asgardian God. Yeah. So it's not, a, it's not a werewolf movie about Thor. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thor turned into werewolf? That would be awesome. Victoria <laughs> <laughs> Atkin. Oh boy. You sure it doesn't have Jack Nicholson, <laughs> James Spader, and Michelle Pfeiffer? That was 94. You want to go yeah. back and check? Because <laughs> I got a good answer for that one. <laughs> Fuck. The Howling Five. No. <laughs> I was just trying to hit the time frame about right. The movie is Bad Moon. Uh, I know it, but I haven't seen it, and I, yeah, wouldn't have got it. Fuck. It gives it to Drew, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Drew is the winner, and as written down on his scoring sheet, suck it, Scott. <laughs> so, thank you for that, Drew. Intermission, intermission, intermission. <laughs> well, Nick, how does it feel to have finally lost the game? <laughs> Are you okay with it? Are you quitting? <laughs> you hung up on us. Did you hang up on us? No, I'm still here. Okay. I really wish you guys would pick the screw you guys. I, do, I, I wanted to. I, I do, got yeah, the yeah, that, yeah, that was going to be my next I one, do too. like the screw you guys category. It's a cool category. Nice work on that. I won by not actually having to name a movie. Oh, yeah, all three of your points for telling people to name it? Yep. Well, enjoy your empty victory. <laughs> hey, a victory's a victory. But I am the only person here who has lost to Dan. <laughs> so that's that's a, a loss forever. Everybody can always hold that against my that, head. That goes ah, on. Drew is the greatest champion that this game's ever had. I lost to Dan once. <laughs> Fuck. I think... <laughs> I think losing to Dan, Joe Paterno is all your wins. <laughs> <laughs> that is twice you. <laughs> First time on the podcast. Don't give away all our show business secrets. Okay, you need to stop crying. If I make a great joke earlier in the day, I'm going to make it again on the podcast. Okay, I, okay, okay, okay. And you're not going to okay. tell them, and you're not going to fucking tell them, Drew, that I made it earlier in the day. Uh, Scott used that earlier in the day. <laughs> Look, when nobody else is around, Sky Look, used that twice. What is the point of having our two-hour pre-show meeting? Yeah, if we did this last time. I don't pay attention in our pre-show <laughs> meeting. If we're just going to wing it on the show. God damn it. Jesus Christ. Okay, so do we want to play an intermission game, or are we just going to go right into it? Want to do one round of... Uh, build title? Or a build title or uh, movie cats, film kitties. Film kitties. What? It's called <laughs> film kitties. Just go with it. Bro. Yeah, so do you want to do one? Uh, yeah, let's, uh, Nick, what do you want to do? you want to do, uh, Bill Title or Movie Cats that we have renamed Film Kitties? Have you, yeah, they, it, Movie Cats is from Never Not Funny. They've done it once or twice on, uh, 
Yeah. On Doug's, I think he, I think he and Graham Mel would do it on their rental car episodes. It's just where you start by picking any any actor or movie, and then the next person, like say, if I pick an actor, then you say uh, a movie that actor was in. Then the next person says another actor that was in that movie. Then the okay. next person says another movie that actor was in, and so on. So it's alternates back and forth. Yeah, you just go movie actor, movie actor. And then if yeah, and then if you can't name it, you have to. Yeah, that's right. And then if you can't do it, you challenge the person who just said it, and they have to do it. So that you, you basically got to back up your last thing. So what if neither can? No, if, if the person gets challenged and can't, then oh, that person it. loses. Oh. Yeah. So it's all about the challenge. So every time you can't name it, you challenge. Then it's, uh, then it's on the uh, previous give person. Give me an example. I don't think I'm really following. Uh, so if uh, I say Tom, I say Tom Cruise. Uh, Justin says Mission Impossible Three, and uh, then Kelly can't think of anyone else in Mission Impossible Three. Uh, he uh, he says challenge. And then Justin has to name someone else in Mission Impossible 3, or, else, peg, or else Kelly gets the point. And if Justin can, then Justin gets the point. Is that Mission Impossible 3 or 4? What? Pegs in 3. Pegs in 3 and 4. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if you were, say, Simon Pegg, yeah. someone else would have to say a movie. No, Simon once, Pegg once the challenge, like, that round is over and someone's getting a point. And oh, then you okay. just start again. Okay. Oh, this is actually a whole new sub game. Yeah, and it's like okay. the, the winner is who goes first. Yeah. Game. So <laughs> let's, uh, let's just do that uh, elimination. Okay. Yeah. So if you get it wrong, you're out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. And uh, let's yeah, let's start with Nick. So Nick, just pick an actor or a movie. And and it's kind of an unwritten rule to like start in general. Don't start like with something so something big and easy. Yeah. Don't start with yeah. Like Justin. Like don't. <laughs> or Dan. Don't pick a Dan movie. No, I was I was making a big and easy joke. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey, big guy. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, but start sort of general. An actor or a movie? Yeah. Actor or movie. Uh, I'll go with actor Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis, there we go. And we'll go, yeah, we'll go to Justin. Die Hard. There you go. So that means someone in Die Hard, right? Somebody yeah. else in Die Hard. Yeah. Jeremy Irons. Oh, no, wait. This is, he said Die Hard. Die, die hard. hard, yeah. Okay, so uh, Alan Rickman. I'm out because I'm the host. Oh, well, yeah, you can do it. No, just play. I don't yeah. want to. Because it's, it's going to be elimination <laughs> crowd. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll play your motherfucking game. But I can't think of another Alan Rickman movie that's not Harry Potter, so... You're, why can't you just say Harry Potter? <laughs> Harry Potter and... I don't know any of the titles of the Harry Potter movies. Well, then, maybe, they suck. then maybe you can't play any of them. Harry Potter the and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Is that one of them? <laughs> that is one of them. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be... You don't want to play, do you? <laughs> I'm hosting. I don't need to play. Anyways, okay. It's to you. Uh, well, how about Daniel Radcliffe? <laughs> And to Nick. I can only think of would one. Would be cheating if I did just another Harry Potter movie? You would not. Nope. <laughs> we may uh, get stuck in an infinite Harry Potter movie. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how it goes. Uh, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. Okay. Uh, Ray Fiennes. Let's get out of this shit. <laughs> yeah, well, well done. Schindler's List. Schindler's Fist. <laughs> oh, shit, it's me. Yeah. Uh, Kelly's favorite actor of all time, Liam Neeson. Uh, second. Who's your favorite? John Lithgow. Well, I do like him. <laughs> he's pretty high on my goddamn list, yeah, I watched Raising Cain. Yeah, he's on I have that movie, too. Uh, Peter North. <laughs> <laughs> oh, John Renault. Oh, John oh, of course. Yes, of course. Um, Peter North. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing a Liam Neeson movie? Liam Neeson movie. Uh, gotta go with probably my favorite movie of all time, Star Wars Episode One. The <laughs> <laughs> you are the worst kind of human. <laughs> There's got to be someone who thinks that. Yeah, out there. Uh, so Nick, to you, Star Wars Episode One. Um, if I name an actor. What can somebody challenge me? Like, with, how would somebody challenge so me? So if you name an actor, and then the next person can't name another movie that actor's in, you have to be able to. Okay. Yeah. All right, so I can't be an asshole then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Oh, say Greg Oh, yeah. Get nice call. I bet he's in something else. I can't think of Maybe? Um, Ewan McGregor. Oh, okay. Ewan McGregor, all right. That's... 
straightforward enough. Uh, why can't I think of anything else this has been in? Other than Star Wars Episode 2. Okay, okay, Star Wars Episode 2. Uh, bu- 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 oh, what's her name? Um, what's her name? It's, it's there on the edge of my tongue. Uh, <laughs> I wish she was there on the edge of my tongue. <laughs> 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 Sorry, what, what? Natalie Portman. Uh, let's say Garden State. Zachary Braffington. To Nick. Scrubs the movie. <laughs> Scrubs the movie. <laughs> Bring black scrubs. Uh, was he in My Boss's Daughter? No. No, no I'm out then. Nick is out. Well, how he can sound stuck. Yeah, you got the wrong answer. He's fucking out. Fuck him. He's dead. He's dead to me. I'm never talking to him again. <laughs> yeah, the two ways to go out are straight up wrong answer or failed challenge or correct challenge, depending on what party you are. Uh, yeah, so we go Justin picking a new one and down to four people. Pick a new one. Let's go Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Days of Thunder. Successful... Gay actor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking, I don't know, I can picture his face in my head. Nicole Kidman. <laughs> it's a good it's name. Oh, no, I was thinking of Nicole Kidman, dude. She is, right? That's correct? Yeah. yeah. I know nothing about Days of Thunder. Uh, Nicole Kidman. Uh, let's go with. Uh, we have to know someone else in that movie, so let's not go with that. Uh, oh, God, I, I was thinking of Michael Rooker. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Let's go with Australia. Ooh. Ooh. Huge Ackman. <laughs> Huge Ackman. Jack Human, for those who are Tracy Morgan fans. <laughs> Van Helsing. Woof. Uh, Kate Beckinsale. Uh, I was trying to think of something more interesting, but Underworld. What was the thing she was in with Brian Posehn that he always references? I can't remember. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It wasn't Underworld. Name another act in Underworld. You name another act. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me think. I can. I can name two. <laughs> yeah, actually, I can name two. Oh shit, I can do three. Uh shit. No. I think I'm out. Fuck you. So who else was in it? Does that mean it goes to, we're staying it? Oh we start again. Yeah. Uh there's this Scott Scott Ma- Michael Sheen, Scott Speed. Michael Sheen, uh, I Bill Nye. Bill Nye, yeah. Bill yeah. Nye, yeah. Yeah, I should have got Michael Sheen. Uh so, yeah, so yeah, so Kelly. start uh History was the last one on that one. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, Kelly. so Kelly's actor yeah. or movie. Uh, Try and make it bigger, general. <laughs> Idiocracy. Fucking Luke Wilson. To me? Yep. Oh, okay. Luke Wilson. Well, I'll go old school. I thought you were saying like you were gonna go old school and say an old movie. Oh, no, <laughs> oh, no, you're in fact going with yes. the movie old school. Uh, okay, I said Will Ferrell. I will go with uh, Casa de mi Padre. Oh, oh, dirty pool, Mister. It's me or Chewy. Chewy. It's Chewy. And I feel like Drew's got something lined up, so I think Chewy's fucked. I played the asshole card that Nick wanted to play, but couldn't back it up. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You. Stink. <laughs> Stink. <Dang. laughs> uh, I'm out. I can't. Uh, challenge. Challenge I, me. I can challenge you, but. Diego Luna. Genesis say, Rodriguez. I was going to say Diego Gail, Luna. Gail Garcia Bernal. Man, you don't know what that is. Is that fat guy that you like? What did you say, Justin? What did you say? Huh? What did you say? I forgot the names. I didn't say anything. You said something. You said something. Yeah, you did. No, I did. It's okay if you said something racist because I said racist things to you. That doesn't right. make it okay. <laughs> I said I'm a chink. Yeah. Oh, is that what you said? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. I'm sorry. But I said it earlier. I was going to say, is that fat uh, comedian? Oh, I don't remember what his 
name is though. The, the, the fat lady. Curly hair. <laughs> no, the fat Hispanic comedian. That but you like. Gabriel oh, Gabriel 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 Gabriel. Yeah. <laughs> it is not Gabriel Iglesias. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, we're in Nick Oberman. Is that what his name is? Yeah. Lance Watson? Uh, Offerman. Offerman, yeah, he's in it too. Really? Yeah. Huh. Everything he's in is good, and I'm basing that solely on Parks and Recreation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's uh, Kelly. You, you two gay boys are up. Kelly Stark. Battle of the Bulge. Redfish up the river. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hugh Jackman. Is he already used? Yeah, he's already used. Yeah, he's already used. Good thing. Good thing. Hugh Jackman. Uh, uh, swordfish. <laughs> With farts. <laughs> John Travolta. <laughs> wow. <Wild ball. laughs> <laughs> it comes full circle. Okay. Uh, oh, can I, should I just end this and fuck Kelly over? Yeah. Randy Sklar. Which one was he? He was one of the, one of the, the, one of the two Sklars. <laughs> no, they were in something. They were in that episode of Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Is that the only movie they ever did? They were on that episode <laughs> of Entourage. <laughs> they were on that no, episode no, kind of, of movies. Curb? They, they, were, Curb? they were Yes, they were on Curb. Curb. Uh, not, none of these are movies. None of these are movies. And none of them Then you, don't, you can stop listing them. No, I'm going to keep listing them. No, they've done a few movies. Uh, they're in that uh, movie, United States of America. Yeah, their show on the History Channel. <laughs> they were on their... Wild Hogs, too. <laughs> Even wilder. They, on, they might make it, who knows? Uh, their web series, Back on Tops. <laughs> okay, you can stop. <laughs> their other web series, The Sweetly News, currently... Oh, no, he's going to throw something at you. Gonna... <laughs> oh, wow. He threw a jug of water at him. <laughs> now drink it. <laughs> Enjoy it. <laughs> Bask in it. Oh, you're calling for kitties. Oh, whatever. Kitty's down there. He's fine. Andrew, you're terrifying it's fine. He's not terrified. <laughs> this is two in a row that you've interrupted. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. You're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Anyways, Kelly, are you calling... I can't. Russian? Yeah. National Lampoon's Legend of Awesomeness Maximus. <laughs> are you don't Scott that okay. way? Yeah. You can yeah. confirm. <laughs> Yeah, yep, I, I won the too. game that was unimportant to me winning. All right, yes, the game that you don't want to play. So Kelly wins because I Kelly ran was runner up. Okay, Kelly, let's get this going. Uh, okay, I I came up with a category today that I have wanted. Oh my god, to Drew use has been going on about this category that's so good all day. So oh, I, no. I hope the thing is the, ca- the category itself is not good. It's just the the oh, okay. the name of the category. Oh is, no, no, that's what I mean. It's yeah. great. Yeah, okay. okay, Kelly, fine. would you like... It better be phenomenal. And give the good okay. one third. You know how to yeah, build... Okay. Yeah. No, first. No, we're first. Okay, today... Can't think of the first. There are two birthdays that are great today. One is the President of the United States of America, Barack Obama. So those movies that president. feature a black president. The president. In that ass. ass. <laughs> the other one is one William Robert Joe, which is Billy Bob Thornton. And of course, Joe, the only person that gets that reference, is Chewy. What? That's his last name. Oh, Joe oh, Thorne. Joe Thorne. Ah. That's, that's a lot of levels. That, that. That's, that's deep. Uh, so it's his birthday, so movies of William Robert Thornton. And the one that I came up with that I really, really want Kelly to choose, but he doesn't have to, is oh, Indiana Jones frantically witnessing a working girl on the Mosquito Coast. Which are, he made four movies between Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom and Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, so one of those four movies was in the title. <laughs> or, I'm sorry, those four movies were the title. So Indiana Jones frantically witnessing a working girl on the Mosquito Coast. Wow. That's Nobody ever picked that category. <laughs> yeah. it, got, it narrows it down. Okay, so, um, 85, 86, 88. Because there's two 88s, so. 86. I'm sorry I threw a water truck at you, Scott. You're not sorry. You forgive me. 
Well, fuck. <laughs> I need to know now. Hmm. Okay, uh, Mr. Moulton gives this one three and a half stars. I'll go over the back. I'll start eating you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, three and a half stars, 1986, it's got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve names. Uh, know, let's see what he says here. Um, is it a movie where he runs regular with Where's My Family? That's <laughs> after Indiana Jones. Okay, uh, okay so he says, <laughs> this movie's not for all tastes, uh, since Ford's character is unsympathetic. Um, it's beautifully crafted with fine screenplay. And uh, a serious and emotionally gripping film. And I said 12 actors? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Grips the film. Uh, Key grips the film. Put 11. Name it. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Either Justin just wants to go home, or he doesn't <laughs> want to play this category. Or he's got some weird strategy we don't know about. So you get everybody but the number one actor. So the There's a, a good chance that the number one actor <laughs> is the, the names anyway. are Jason Alexander what? of Seinfeld fame, Pretty Woman, Butterfly McQueen. I don't know who that is, but that is a name. Martha Plimpton, Dick O'Neill, Andre Gregory, Conrad Roberts, Rebecca Gordon, Hillary Gordon, Jadrian Steele, River Phoenix, and the most attractive woman over the age of forty, Helen Mirren. The most attractive woman over the age of 60, 50, 40, 30, and 20. <laughs> and that's all I got for you. Well, I just picked that category for the hell of it. I have no idea. But I'm going to go with Frantic, the movie. It was, in fact, The Mosquito Coast. So your number one actor was obviously Harrison Ford. Yeah. I don't, I don't know that one. I yeah. just watched it. It is not a three and a half star movie, but maybe it's too smart for me. I'm not sure. Well, you are dumb. It's just because <laughs> it's a very weird role for him because you know usually he plays like a guy looking for his family. Because yeah. <laughs> like, this is the '80s. His earlier roles were a lot of like, like comedy, romance, yeah. like sarcasm, yeah, like aggression, Han Solo stuff. Yeah, like this one is it, it, he's a, he's just a complete. Like, serious, um, like kind of serious emotionless, man. no comedy. Huh. So it's a very weird role for him. So uh, My strategy was Kelly Lane had one of three times of getting it right. <laughs> well, uh, one of four. One of four, sorry. sorry. Paid off. So that goes to Justin. So Justin was told, Kelly didn't name it, so it goes to Nick to Scott. Uh, yep. Okay, Nick, are you ready for my categories? I won't give you that one again, because that one was not as fun as I thought it would be. <laughs> I want to go back in time and do that. We go back state in time to stay one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, so another new category I came up with today is uh, Spank Bank, which <laughs> is very famous or highly considered like the best nude scenes in movies. There's female, female nude scenes. No, no, male, no male nude scenes. Uh, no fassy? No fassy. <laughs> no, no shame. I was hoping it was <laughs> movies where corporal punishment is administered in a bank. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, um... The Book of Eli, which are films starring, directed by... Eli produced, Manning. <laughs> written or otherwise involving Eli Roth. Or, let's go... Uh, the third movie in a trilogy. So that's movies where there is only a third one. There is no fourth one, fifth one, only three movies. Um... Like, are the years they're going going to be the first of the three movies only, or is it going to be the third of the series? It's, it's the third, third movie okay. in a trilogy. Okay. Yuck. You're welcome. So you got uh, famous go game? with the uh, third in a trilogy. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, another lost it. Okay, would you like 2002, 2001, or 19... 
Okay, 2002. Oh, you know what? I even wrote down the stars and the actors. So, uh, two stars, nine actors. Uh, okay, what does Leonard say? Uh, one of the. <laughs> I'm just getting a pen. One of the characters is more odd than funny. Uh, what's left are a lot of really crude jokes and missed opportunities. Um, worst of all, a certain actor is wasted in the role that he plays. Uh, lots of stars appear in cameos. This is the third in a trilogy? That's the third in a trilogy, two stars, 2002, and there are nine names. I will say... Negative two. Ooh. Man, you make things difficult for me. No, I can't go... Eh. No, I can't go negative three. Name it. Is it Austin Powers, Gold Member, Mike Myers, and Beyonce? Mike oh. Myers and Mike Myers. <laughs> okay, I want to say... That you're correct. <laughs> but I was going to say, <laughs> is, is it Beyonce? No. But it's, oh. it's Beyonce, so yeah. yeah. No, you got right. it. Well done. And third I would be Vern Troyer. No, third was the person who they were mad that he was in this movie, uh, or that Leonard Maltin was mad that he was in this movie. Michael Caine. Why is he mad? Because he he's above it. He's a waste uh, waste in this movie because... Man, was yeah. too good to be he, James Bond. Yeah, he's okay. too good to be James Bond. He should be too good for this knockoff. Oh, yes. James Michael Bond. Caine was in Jaws the Revenge. He loses all credibility. <laughs> <laughs> and where do they bill Scott Ackerman, who played the back of young Michael Caine's head? Uh, he is third. <laughs> Very, good. Michael Caine. Very good. Very and good. That's, least, that's true, by the way. And my least favorite ginger is fourth. Yeah. Michael Caine in space. Can I have the back? You may score. Okay, so, uh, so, Scott said name it, so it goes... Just, just, another great movie from Justin to Kelly. Okay, Justin Chu, let's see what I can give you that will make you enjoy this game more. I'm doing this game fine. <laughs> Valium? <laughs> Bad fan. Okay, uh, let's say Major League Baseball movies. So movies featuring major You lost it already. I don't know. I just sports movies are kind of easy. Hey, ball. Okay, I'll, I'll put one. I'll put one right up your alley. Uh, a movie that is set in Asia but stars a oh white main actor. I remember when I was so confident that one of the movies was Big Trouble in Little China. But <laughs> 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 I'm like, wait a minute. That was not. <laughs> wait a second. Uh, and I will go with. Uh, uh, okay, let's go with uh, It's the End of the World as We Know It and I Feel Fine, which is disaster movies. Oh, Dante's Natural Peak. disaster movies. We had Dante's Peak. We're not doing it again. Unless, uh, he was mad. Let's go to that chicky stuff. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> hey, how hey, is that? Four? He yeah. can say it. It's his word. It's, it's, it's our word. Um, okay. Would you like one from uh, 1997, 1999, or... 2006. Minus seven. Hey, what are you peeking at? Oh, oh, oh God. Nineteen ninety seven. Three stars. Uh, seven actors. Uh, let's see. Um, The, the main actor is excellent as the character he plays. It's, it's a difficult character because he is selfish and arrogant until he leaves uh, to go to the Asian country, and it's magnificently filmed. Uh, was it your minus one? 1997. Uh, I knew it, and I can do minus one, but I get to do minus three at best. <laughs> so good luck to me. Kelly, have at it. Oh, yeah, that's good. White guy, White guy in Asian country, 97, three stars. The main actor is very good at the role he plays, but it's difficult because he's selfish and arrogant. And plays. Yeah, but, uh... Do you know minus one? I do know minus yeah. one. Yeah, me too. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking thing sucks. Radio 
Ghost Highlands. Negative. Name it. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to get a point. <laughs> you name it. Uh, the actor is one. Fuck you, Scott. <laughs> I'm flipping him off as he's saying this. <laughs> Double deuce is going on right here. Because I know it, he knows it, Kelly knows it, but he gets to say it again. So go ahead and say it. Bradley Pitt, seven years in the bet. You are correct, sir. It sucks. It's no no one's happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> no one's excited. I'm happy for me. Fuck you. You're not even happy. Just um, at two. Oh, uh, shit, I can win. Drew's yeah. going to come back and win, even though Joe's going to win the game. I'm you. <laughs> I feel like Drew is somehow, Drew at, as host is going to come back and beat Justin. Okay, so that was Kelly. Kelly known to do. Telling Jerry to name it. Uh, so Who are the other names? Uh, Nick David Wallace, and then a bunch uh, of Asians. <laughs> yeah. Mako. Who's also, oh, Mako. who's also in nice. Conan the Barbarian? Yeah, that that's right. Uncle. Oh, so okay. badass, they named a shark. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... That's a fact. Nick to Scott. Nick to Scott. Okay, Nick, would you like... Gone Too Soon, which is a movie where the one of the actors died before it was released in theaters. Um, in the Line of Fire, which is a movie where... Someone dies in a fire by burn, being burned alive. Movies containing the words in the line of fire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or. I'm going to go back to birthdays for uh, William Robert. So, uh, Billy Bob Thornton movies. Um, gone too soon. Gone too soon. I don't think it's the first time we've had to use this one. I think it is. Okay, so would you like... Uh, oh, I didn't write down yours. Damn it. You dumb Okay, well, I bastard. think I'm just... Oh, uh, I think I'm just going to pick one, because I don't want to look up the years for each and every one of these, <laughs> if that's acceptable. You could give rough years for each of them. Okay. Uh, you could say, you know, like 2006-ish. Like... Like 2001, 2009, and 1986. These are rough years. These are rough years. Rough also, rough riders. Uh, 80s, the 80s one, 86, whatever you say. Whatever it is, yeah, I don't know exactly what it is. But we'll find out. The Drag on that. Yeah, what happened to all those miscellaneous yeah, it was rough like riders? I nailed it. Jada Kiss, Dragon. What are they up to? I got some research to do tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, 1986. It's a bomb. Hmm. Good way to go out, dummy. Jeez, <laughs> uh, this is a tough one. Like, I honestly don't know that I could say anything that won't give it away. Uh, yeah, shit. I, it, it's such a small review. Can you give it a genre? And any word that I say, uh, it just says it, the what it says under genre is family action sci-fi. Hmm. Mm. Of course. And it's a bomb, site eighty six, and there's six names. It's kind of a tough one, but I, I obviously didn't read the review before I did this, so... Yeah, screw reading reviews before you did the... Well, yeah, if I knew the review was so small, I wouldn't have picked it. Uh, what are the names? Or how many names? <laughs> the names <laughs> are... Why? <laughs> What's the answer? <laughs> uh, it's, six, it's six names. 86, Family, Sci-Fi... And Leonard thinks it's a horrible piece of garbage. <laughs> and he's usually kind to family movies. Yeah, it's yeah. probably Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> I don't get it. The family was a puppet! <laughs> oh, then he would love your highness. I'm trying to think of a big name actor that died in the 80s. Arthur Ashe. Famous acting. Uh, he also it, bombed your highness, so in, he doesn't love talking. His entire his entire tennis career was performance art, and he is in fact considered an actor. <laughs> uh, five names. Name it. <laughs> okay, your options are 
Lionel Stander, Stander, Judd Nelson, Eric Idle, Leonard Nimoy, and Robert Stack. We still have no oh, fucking shit. clue where Joe is. Cooper is. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Option one, he's hanging by his, his neck in his, his fucking closet. closet. God damn, I know what it is, too. Kelly knows it, but that doesn't oh, matter. Oh, shit, I really should know this. Matters if Nick knows it. You probably know it, Jerry. Don't say anything. Actually, he doesn't. He's not it doesn't matter. Yeah. Talk amongst yourselves. The, the la- yeah. I feel like I should, but it's... It... Unfortunately, the number one actor in this movie was the person who died before it was released. Oh, good. <laughs> so, that sucks that you didn't get that one. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, shit. Uh. Oh, yeah. God damn I it. got it now. <laughs> I should know it, but I, I don't. Isn't it a piss off uh, while like, you're thinking to other people, like it coming to their minds? I've never like, seen it. Why can't this be my mind? <laughs> I can only think of two Robert Stack movies, and you've already quoted one. <laughs> <laughs> it was also not made. I would, uh, I would go with the other one. <laughs> it's not, and it's not Airplane, so I don't know what the hell else. Huh. Voice number one would have been a very famous man. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. a very fat man as well. Yeah, the fat the loved, loved his red wine and peas, oh. delicious <laughs> peas. Full of country goodness <laughs> and green penis. penis. Wait, that's, that's terrible. terrible. <laughs> okay, I, I think, I, I think, I think we're agreed yeah, to make it out. Okay, yeah. it's a kid-oriented, toy-centric film serves as a link between seasons of the animated TV series. <laughs> the, the characters were later reinvented for the 2007 live-action movie. And the main actor was Orson, Orson Welles. Welles. That was the voice of Unicron. The truth is that he was a planet. <laughs> <laughs> he... The only giveaway was Robert Stack. Yeah. No, I got Eric that... Idle, too. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was thinking, what the hell is Eric Idle? Not Winnie Ma. Okay, okay. so Scott, I will, happily, I will happily take that point. Uh, so we'll go... Uh, Justin and Kelly. Good, that's a good, good segue. I'll that one. Yep. Yeah. Justin... We always have to make them sit beside each other so we can <laughs> yeah. constantly that, make that joke. And, yeah, so, but then they have to switch seats when it's... Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> okay, uh, ugh, what haven't I used that I actually really like? Because some of these I don't like, I just did them. Um, okay, let's go Mock the Casbah. So that's a mockumentary. Um, I don't... I, I, the, only, the only name I had for this movie I then changed for something else, but... We'll call it Dub Bomb instead of All Bomb, because that's what Leonard did. Dub Bomb is a movie where somebody diffuses a bomb. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then, uh, ooh, this category has not been used yet, and I'm gonna. Put it um, there. Nah. Uh, uh, okay, fine. Yeah. Um, what what did we? I keep forgetting to write down. I should really write down. What what do we call the Merkin category? Oh, Merkin me look, Merkin me look good. Uh, I think it was just jerking my Merkin. Jerking your Merkin. Jerking your Merkin. Yeah. So it's a movie where somebody has a Merkin. I don't understand. Like Merkin is a pubic a wig. pubic wig. <laughs> because apparently actresses can't have pubic hair. Right, laser electrolysis, man. Once you use it, you're screwed. I don't understand. No. Why is it even necessary? Because some people in period pieces need Merkins, and then other movies that were made in the 2000s set in the 2000s need Merkins. So yeah, somebody diffuses a bomb, a Merkin is involved. Let's go with the or, bomb. The bomb? Alright. Uh, so we're diffusing a bomb. Do okay. you, somebody diffuses a bomb in this movie. Do you want to, 1998, uh, 1994, or 2008? 98. It's not the year I wanted. Nope. Not happy about this. Okay, it is three stars. Uh, it, okay, you got two, ten names. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's an enjoyable action. Uh, 
Oh, man. It's a fish-out-of-water comedy and urban action thriller. Works well if you don't demand a lot of logic. I don't. Uh, that's really all I can say. Mm. Four, six, eight. Ten names. Yeah. Two, nine, seven, eight. Three stars. Somebody diffuses an explosive device. Start off with ten. Nine. I'll go eight. And to Nick. Eight of ten. Uh, or call seven. <laughs> seven. Name it. Fuck. Nick with seven. Name of it, ten. and Justin Chu can win. Justin for the win if Nick doesn't get it. Yes. Okay. So it's all the top three. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Ken Leung. Chris Penn, the aforementioned should be dead Penn. Should, should not be should dead. Should not be dead Penn, sorry. Should not be the, dead good, Penn. The, the good Penn. The good Penn. Jerk off brother. <laughs> uh, Rex Lynn. C. Ma. T. Z. I. C. Ma. Ma. Mark, Mark Ralston, Philip Baker Hall, and Tom Wilkinson. Hmm. Nineteen ninety eight, it's an enjoyable action no brainer. I can't believe this movie got uh, Fish out of water comedy and urban action thriller works well if you don't demand a lot of logic. Three stars, ninety eight. Is it the episode of Seinfeld where Philip Baker Hall plays the library cop? <laughs> I feel like there could have been a bomb in that episode. Do you? Yeah. Justin knows it, but does Nick know it? How many could you run negative on? Uh, can I go negative on? Uh, I can definitely do negative two. Mm. I don't know about the third. Chris Penn and Tom Wilkinson. Is it Ghost Dad? Yeah, it's Ghost Dad, Kelly. You nailed it. <laughs> I, I couldn't hit it from the bottom two. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. <coughs> so why don't you just go zero names at the start? Because I didn't know off the Oh, uh, you only knew it because of those two? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. As soon as I heard the two, I knew. Son of a bitch. Um. Let's see. Fish out, of water, fish out of water comedy. Uh, and an of urban movie. action thriller. I don't know. I don't know. Those are two different things. Those are two crazy things. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Justin, what is it? Because I don't know either. Top billings are Jackie Chan, Chris Tucker, Rush Hour. Touche. I assume that's right? He is correct. Yeah. They just saw uh, Ken Leung plays yeah. the role of fake Jun Tao. Yes. Yes. Uh, Elizabeth P Penta, who's the... Like Hispanic big booby girl that yeah. Chris Tucker's in love with, she defuses the bomb. Yeah. Hmm. She's right. on the bomb squad. Yeah. Tima plays the consulate whose mm -hmm. yeah. so daughter gets kidnapped at the beginning of the movie. Yeah. Okay. Start her off. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, was the Wasn't there a Hispanic chick in the second one? Yeah, she was different. Different Hispanic oh, chick. Yeah. They're, yeah. All, yeah. they're all the same. All right, Justin Chu, you are the winner. The first victory. First victory for Justin. First blood. First blood. I don't know what to rate for this one, so come up with something racist for him. No, just rate first blood. Or first blood. That's what we said. That's not actually racist. Second <laughs> blood. Jesus. Period blood. Ew. Oh, I feel like we shouldn't end with me without having a victory. No, we're not. Well, more. Luckily, we're not. <laughs> All, All right. right, we could we could end, still end with you having a victory, but the chances yeah. of you two in a row astronomical. The Vegas odds are absurd on this one. <laughs> Who has a better shot of winning, me or the Columbus Blue Jackets with a cup? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say, well, you already won, so you. No, the next round, though. Uh, well, yeah. it depends how well Bobrovsky plays. Pretty. You're off the first, Bobrovsky! <laughs> <laughs> You're a loose cannon! I love that that got onto the dead spin list of best nicknames. Yeah. Well, it is the best nickname. I believe Jay Andre's tweet after he saw that was, We did it, boys. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, things that only a few of us understand. Well, oh. was Robert Downey Jr.'s tweet about the Olympics real? It was no, fake, fake Robert Downey Jr. Uh, it was Robert Jr. Downey was the Twitter uh, account. Yeah. I'm very oh, good old Robert Jr. Downey. All right, so it was still very funny. It was funny. Final game. Me Scott is hosting. Me Scott. Me Scott. Me Scott. I was just gonna say me, and then I realized that no one can see me when I say me, so I should probably say Scott. So too awesome. Last game. We will start with Drew, who hosted the last one. Drew, your initial categories are. Uh, let's go with Best Picture Losers. Nope. Movies nominated for and not winning Best Picture. You can stop talking because I already said no. Let's go with uh, Vanilla Ice. Movies with Vanilla or Ice in the title. And In Theaters Meow. Movies with a cat in them. I'm going to say... <laughs> Kelly is applauding Audible that. applause from Kelly. <laughs> I'm going to say give me another category. <laughs> <laughs> nope. God, no, I'm not teasing you because you were clapping. I'm not doing the kitties. What was the second one? Vanilla Ice. Okay, we'll do the kitties one. <laughs> In the driveway, it was probably my mom. That's right, you were, that's right, you were drunk. I am drunk. I'm, this water is vodka. Do you want a movie with a cat in it? Not really, but you didn't give me much options. From 1992... 1993 or 1951? Well, if you want this game to be not fun, then I have the obvious choice. I'm going to say e- Everyone has seen, if not at least heard of, the 1951 movie. Well, I'm not going to pick 1951. I'm going to pick 1980. Just trying to help. 1951. Three. Yeah. Say 1953. 1993. <laughs> Kelly said 51 and you misheard. 93 you want. Okay. It is three stars. It has nine actors in it. And let me tell you something else about it. Uh, Water bomb. Not Water bomb. a remake of a 1963 movie. Uh, in true 90s fashion, the dialogue is overstuffed with lowbrow wisecracks. Still, the story is compelling, and the performance is excellent. Uh, followed by a sequel, and that's all you get. Uh, nine people, three stars. What year is it again? 93? 93. Has a cat in it. How many actors? Like nine? Nine, yeah. I will go with nine. Who are we going to? Let us go to Kelly. Kelly, nine. Did you say it was a remake? A remake of a 1963 movie. Let's say zero. Kelly goes zero. Name it. Yeah, minus anything yeah. is tough. So, uh, is it that darn cat? It is not no. that darn cat. If I told you the voices of the three main characters were Michael J. Fox, Sally Field, and Don Amechi. That's a remake? Yeah. I was that was the first thing that popped in my head. I didn't realize it was a remake. Don't let the, don't let the details throw you off. Go with what you think. Cuz otherwise you would have said Homeward Bound, The yeah. Incredible Journey, remake of 1963's The Incredible Journey. I didn't know that was a remake. They had yeah. talking animal movies in the 60s. They had all kinds of bullshit sure in the 60s. <laughs> I'm not sure that they actually talked in the original. I don't know if they did. Probably not. I so actually I'm pretty sure they didn't come to think of it. Yeah, remake of 1963's The Incredible Journey enables us to hear the animals talking, implying that they didn't yeah. Oh, yeah. in 63. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I haven't seen that movie in, like, since it came out from. I have never seen that movie. So, just in point one point. To just well, Blue Jackets, five-game winning streak. <laughs> there you go. Uh, you're on a four-game winning streak right now. You've got four in a row, I think. And with this, we we'll are going... Sure, let's just say four. Right. Right. Uh, we're going Drew to Nick. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, Drew, you like this category so much more, so much last time. Let's do the same categories now. <laughs> oh. uh, let's go with Mr. Anderson. Movies by either Wes or Paul Thomas Anderson. Uh, let's go with uh, Razzie winners for Worst Picture of the Year. 
And uh, in Tally fashion, movies I love. Let's do Razzies. Razzies. You Nothing can better than a bad movie. Yeah. 03, 07, and 010, which I don't think is an accurate way to say that year, but you know what I mean. Uh, let's say... So, 03, 07, and 010? Yeah. Uh, let's go with... Let's, let's keep it current. Let's go 03. <laughs> You're an idiot. Okay. 2003 is the movie in question. Let's tell you about it. It is one and a half stars. Why does he not give Razzie winners bomb? The uh, the 2007 one was a bomb. The 2010 mm. also was not. And mm. should have been. Uh, we got two, four, six, eight folks in it. And what can we say about it that hasn't already been said about Afghanistan? <laughs> Uh, sorry excuse for a script. Lurches from one boring, silly, illogical, and or unpleasant sequence to another. When in fact it exists merely to show off its, uh, female star. Uh, who... Sure, I'll say it. Who talks dirty while performing yoga. <laughs> I guess if you've seen it, that would help, maybe. But otherwise, probably not. So we got eight people, one and a half stars... Razzie winner for Worst Picture of the Year, 2003. Now, I have an idea. I haven't actually seen it, but from what I understand, it probably would have been a bomb. But then, yeah, I, like... He didn't say nice things about it. He didn't say nice things about it, and sometimes he doesn't give what you think he should get, because yeah. like, there was one that Chewie did that we thought would be, the way he was speaking about it, it should have been worse. Yeah, and he gave it two stars. So, um, tough to say. Freaking hell. I want to... Uh, I don't know if the year is right, but I think it might be, so I will say ne uh, negative two. Drew says negative two, Nick. Uh, maybe. Cannot do any better than that. I name the movie. Maybe do negative three. Nick says name it. Okay, I'm. Oh God, I really hope that I'm right with this. I really don't think I am now. Uh, is it? Oh, fuck. I'm almost embarrassed to say it now. <laughs> As you should. Be. Is it ballistics? X versus Sever? Antonio Banderas, Lucy Liu. No. Oh, no and no. Uh, Kelly, other thoughts? I was gonna say Molly Shannon, Will Ferrell, and Superstar. No, that no, that's way earlier. Is that? That's like that's like late nineties. Like Oh, okay. I was going to say Catwoman, Halle Berry. That's a four. Yeah, I already did that one. Justin, everyone has guessed about you. Do you have a guess? Uh, the only thing I popped in my head was Gili, but I think Gili was earlier, too. Yeah. What, if you were to go minus two on Gili, what would you oh, say? Oh, so Gili. Uh, J-Lo and Ben Affleck. You would be right. Oh. Ooh. Gili, J-Lo, Ben Affleck, See? and full retard Justin Bartha. Uh, haven't seen it. You want only, to see it. The only thing is the, the, that yoga comment made me think that could have actually happened in Gili. Uh-huh. Which couldn't oh, have happened anything else but I totally know that because I listened to how this get made. Yeah. Ugh. You really blew that one. I really did blow that one. <laughs> but then again, I, that was like so far back. Yeah. You know, like, but yeah. We definitely need to watch that movie though. Yes. Yeah. I need to it's see impossible. I need to see full retard Justin Bartha scene friggin' Sir Mix a lot, <laughs> like fifteen years after it was popular. Uh yeah, pretty in there. <laughs> so point to Nick. Uh, yeah. And we're going Kelly to Justin. No, you guys got to switch seats. <laughs> so we can say the other way. Kelly, I will give you in theaters meow. I will give you uh, Adrenaline Rush, the films of Jeffrey Rush. And I will give you Best Picture Losers. The Kitty one. The Kitty one. <laughs> Uh, 1951, 1992, 1997. 1992. Why is no one going 51? You're all scared of the year, but you, you all know the movie. You know the 51 movie better than the 92 movie, I'll tell you right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, physical comedy on a podcast. Yep. Okay. <laughs> no rebuttal from Kelly, just a sit. 
All right. <laughs> oh, man, the first words of the description made me laugh, but I can't read them. Wow. I will laugh. Save them for later, yeah. yeah. We've got two, four, six, eight, nine names, two stars, 1992, has a cat in it. Uh, what can we say? Uh, Kitty Cartoon is missing the essential components to make it more than passable entertainment for six-year-olds. Oh. But, uh, I, no. Damn, I, no, I can't say the first words even though they make me laugh. And starts at Kelly, and what do I say, nine names. What year was it? 92. How many stars? Two stars? Two stars. Two stars, and then he said mean stuff about it again. So, <laughs> go figure. How many names again? Nine? Nine. Uh, I always had this need to go balls out. It's fun, though, it's, isn't it? It is fun, but it's, it's fucked me over a couple times. And it's so satisfying when you get it. Though. It is. So I'm going to say negative one. Name it. Oof. Billy Joel Oliver and Company? That, that's a good pick, actually. It is uh, not... American name Sale? the first two words. The Actually, the first three words, because one was an article. But the, the, the first... <laughs> The the first sentence starts A cocky cock heads for Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, uh is it Rockadoodle? Rockadoodle. Rock right. Never yeah. seen it. Never seen it. Never wanted to see it. That I, I thought that was kind of a toss up. It was either Yeah. It was either yeah, all yeah, Oliver Company's a good uh, good call. I can't I like can't to fault that. that. Justin might win two in a row here. That's yeah, that's another for Justin based on Kelly being a cocky cock. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to Vegas? Yep. <laughs> and so, uh, 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 my brain, <laughs> my life. <laughs> Nick to Drew is what I was trying to say there. Scott got fully derped. <laughs> got derped. Uh, Nick, do you want best no, picture want losers? Do you want I'm Cohen and Sam, the films of the Cohen brothers? Okay, flex. You know what's great? Blown. What's great if you, is if you guys talk right over me. Sidebar. Sidebar. <laughs> Just say sidebar. Say sidebar. Say sidebar, and you're welcome to talk. Sidebar. God sucks. <laughs> and to be fair, I said cyborg. <laughs> 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 so that still doesn't count. <laughs> cyborg. Seven of nine is hot. <laughs> Nick, anyway. Best Picture Losers, I'm Cohen Insane, films of the Cohen Brothers, and Squeal Like a Pig, the films of Ned Beatty. Uh, Cohen Brothers. Cohen Brothers, you got... 1991, 1998, 2000. 1998. 1998. Two and one half stars. Thirteen actors. Let's see what else we can say about it. Okay. Uh. Can't say that. Mostly an excuse for off the wall character vignettes, some of which are amusing, some of which are just strange. Uh, minor Cohen concoction with the most agreeable cast. One of the actors is a standout. And that was. Uh, yeah. Thirteen names, two and a half stars. Cohen Brothers, nineteen ninety-eight. <coughs> um. Negative two. Ooh. Oh. Strong. Okay, can't, can't go um, negative three. Can't go three. I don't think so. Name it. What do you say, Nick? Big Lebowski, Jeff Bridges, and John Goodman. You got it, dude. <laughs> 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 Julianne Moore. Julianne Moore, uh, three. Could have gone three. Steve Buscemi, four. And I don't know why I thought Steve Buscemi would have been third. I don't know why I thought that. I might have said Steve Buscemi third. Yeah, that's what I was, would have said. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the standout Linda mentions is John Turturro as Jesus, Jesus the Bowler. The Bowler. 
Nobody misses the Jesus. Nobody fucks with the Jesus. So that's one for Nick. Oh man, this is a two horse, two pony race here. Huh. Let's get Drew and Kelly on the board. Nick and Justin each with two. Starting with Justin going to Kelly? Uh, yeah. Yeah. From Justin to Kelly. Justin, do you want Beatlemania movies with John mm -hmm. Paul, George, or Ringo in the title? Is one of them Rango? Rango? Shut <laughs> up. How dare you. Uh, do you want four-letter titles? Or do you want... Uh, the alternately titled Toi Couleur or America. Movies with red, white, or blue in the title. Can I have an example of a four-letter movie? Uh, you may have one we did before, which is Jack, and you may not have Chud, which is what you're fishing for. <laughs> <laughs> Two Chud references. Oh, no, I got tricked. <laughs> well, cool. I was going to, like, when you, whenever you said it, I mean, like, Oh, you don't want to say the other one? You're like, well, like, well, we have to get the reference on. You're like, what? <laughs> can I make a request? Can I have a, a request? That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you may. Every when you guys eventually do get your studio, <laughs> uh, every time somebody makes a Chud reference, can you play the clip from Chud where he goes, "What is going on here?" <laughs> <laughs> yes. Absolutely. We're going to have the stupidest soundboard when we have it. <laughs> I still haven't even watched it yet. I think Michael the one that's... I've seen it. You've seen it? Right. I, it's been a long time since I've seen it. <laughs> I might have seen have it. Have you heard the kid. Chud rap song? No. 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 There's a... Every year, a bunch of guys make like a Halloween mashup CD, and there's a Chud rap song that has a bunch of clips from the movies mixed into it. <laughs> Is it as awesome as in picture? Uh, it's, it's moderately awesome. <laughs> that's good. I'm okay with it has that clip in it, so that's enough. <laughs> that's enough. So, Justin, what were, uh, <laughs> did you, did you pick? Uh, What's happening? Let's go four letters. Four letter titles. Your options are... Is it fuck? It is not fuck, <laughs> no. the movie. Yeah. Uh, How about... 1993, 2007, 2008... Let's go oh eight. Oh eight. Three and a half stars. <laughs> Ten actors. Two thousand eight, four letters. What can we say about it? Uh, uh, expansive screenplay covers a lot of territory, both personal I'm and sure public. Of course. Uh the main character's crusade and the vitriolic response to it has uncanny modern-day resonance. Hmm. Uh, should I say it? Yeah, I'll say it. Oscar winner for Best Actor and Best Screenplay. I wasn't listening because I was doing Bear Force 1. Well, good, because it's not going to come to you anyway, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> 2008? 08, four 2008. letters... Ten actors. It's not. It's not. Fuck the movie we've established. It's just. Can you know the description again? Description. Uh, expensive screenplay. Screenplay. Screenplay covers screen a lot of territory. Yeah, screenplay. Yeah. Both personal and public. Uh, the main character's crusade and the vitriolic response to it has minus one. Has uncanny modern day resonance. Justin says minus one. Is this for the win if he gets it? Oh, Kelly can totally screw him here if he wants to. I... I don't know. Minus, minus two is perfectly doable. If you can get the movie. <laughs> or Drew can get minus three. I don't like this. Just to make things interesting, I'll say minus two. Kelly says minus two. Minus three. Drew says minus three. Nick, minus three to you. Name yeah, that movie. Is it Milk. Sean Penn. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> no, I know the actors. I, I just don't know what. what order oh shit! Is Nick gonna steal the win here? Uh, if, if Drew fucks it. Oh yeah! If you get it wrong, Nick, the the proper thing to do was you to call Kelly, so only you or Kelly can get a. But point. I can get it right. But you're dumb. No, I know, I know <laughs> the actors. It's just hard to put them in the correct order. So I'm gonna say 
Fuck it. I'm, I want to go to bed. I got to work in the morning. <laughs> James Franco, Josh Brolin. The movie is Milk. The first build is Sean Penn. The second build is James Franco. And Josh Brolin is indeed the fourth build oh, actor the behind no. e- Emil Hirsch. Hirsch. Book. Giving Nick the point and the win, I do believe. Yay. Looking for a confirmation? Yes. Drew? Yes. <laughs> I can only talk in this cadence for so long. Huh. As the win for Nick. Read what I wrote. No love, Chinaman. Well, <laughs> looks like the American beat the Canadians again. Again. I when that happened in the past, but like I said, I've never been to a real school. <laughs> it was two to two. As for this. <laughs> yeah, so how did that one... So All right, so the American was smug against the Canadians, but in reality didn't win anything. <laughs> <laughs> so she won, I won... Chewy won, he won. Such is life. So he did win the most, he so the most. if you were to say there was a winner. This is the Olympics, it's Michael Phelps, and yeah. we're all of the Canada. He's Michael Phelps, and we are all of the Canada. All Trust of me, you guys haven't seen me in a while, I am not Michael Phelps. <laughs> <laughs> not quite, but you're, you're still pretty, Nick. <laughs> Well, that's the games. Uh, do we move seamlessly into plugs? Uh, or I'll any other orders of business before that? I'll plug my Twitter like I always do. I've actually gotten some random ads of people before. like Sandbox? Korean, no, no. Korean <laughs> girls? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to approach on his uh, yeah. demographic. My demographic is not Korean girls. I got t- two guys. I don't know who they are. They're like, I guess, uh, like... I don't want to say that they're indie filmmakers, but they're guys who have like a whole YouTube thing with a whole huh. bunch of videos on it. So, but yeah, so at, at Drusarian, and uh, I update my blog usually when I watch movies and have time, so it's on there. Blogspot.SarianReviewsMovies.com, <laughs> probably. Good plug. <laughs> and that's all I got. Good URL syntax, also. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, it's, yeah. My my website is Sarian. At, uh, okay, first of all, at, <laughs> at shouldn't be in your website. <laughs> um, I, uh, I'm not on Twitter, guys, <laughs> so... Uh, deal with it. Yeah, deal with it. Kelly, all right. what do you want to plug? Kelly? I want to plug... It's uh, sort of a uh, sort of charity thing for a good cause. It's called Get Kelly to Rebel Stoke. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Kelly has heard of a wolf preserve that he wants to go to in Revelstoke, B.C., which is on, like, the B.C.-Alberta border, which is, like, ten hours from here that he keeps bugging me to drive him to, <laughs> even though he has a fucking car for some reason. Because you were the one I did. Up, I did either. inform him about it, so I guess that's on me. Anyway, okay, fine. That's what Kelly's doing. So Kelly's Kickstarter for Get Him to Revelstoke. I have PayPal, so... Yeah. You know. <laughs> Just throw it out there. There you go. I'll grab it. Justin, anything to plug? Uh, I'll plug my Twitter as well, even though I talk nothing about movies. My Twitter is handle is two two thirty three. That's C H U C H U three three. Twitter. I talk about everything but movies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on like m- you make a point of talking yeah. about like all subjects minus yeah. movies. We have a plane flying overhead for. They're looking, they're looking, they're looking, they're looking for grow offs. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Although that was a commercial flight, but <laughs> <laughs> commercial <laughs> flight with a girl. Commercial uh, car flight. Yeah. And Nick, anything you want to plug? Uh, nothing of my own because I haven't really started it yet. I do plan on working on a blog later, but cool. I'm just too fucking lame to not make one. <laughs> um, I do want to plug a uh, friend of the show, Steve Shilson's new film. Oh yes, yeah. oh, yeah. softballs. Um, I had absolutely no way of telling you where to look into this movie. I feel like finding you could like YouTube will turn you something go on up. Go YouTube, type in, oh, uh, visit facebook.com forward slash softballs. Yeah, yeah, that that'll get you somewhere, there right? You go. <laughs> yeah, could be. Yeah, according, about to that. Steve, according to Steve's Facebook, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, that's worth checking out. So everyone check that out. And is that uh, thing you want to book? The not really. Yeah. No, look, I'm, I'm not. Look, I'm not making the joke every time. Scott wants to plug your mom. Your mom. Damn it! Oh no! Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're here. We're here. We're still here, Google. Oh, we swear. Um, 
Yeah, before the final round of shitheads, not to put you on the spot, Nick, but you will need to name a shithead in the next 30 seconds. Uh, I want to thank Nick for joining us. Yeah, our, first, our first international friend, first person who hasn't been live in non-studio with us. Yes. So thanks for hanging out, and thanks for uh, staying up till 2.30 uh, in the morning, your time. Yep. Thank <laughs> you very much for having me. I like how we're referring to my sun deck as a studio. I said non-studio. Oh, non-studio. <laughs> I didn't hear non. I just heard studio. Yeah, no, I made a point. Yeah, because we have like mosquitoes in the studio. studio. Oh, They'll know studio. when we get the studio when they hear the Chud sound was drop. The, was that a Phil Collins reference? <laughs> yes, it was. Stu, Stu, studio? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, idiots. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So... Uh, and Nick will go uh, will go around uh, around the horn and uh, end with you. So hopefully you can whip something up in that time with shithead. So once you've heard once once you've heard four people say who a shithead is, it's your turn, and then we'll sign off. Uh, so thanks for listening to Isaac Six Heart Cinema episode uh, six. And 6.5, and maybe 6, 6.33, and 6.67, if we split this up into 3. Because uh, we're just shy of 3 hours total right now. <laughs> <laughs> Our piece, that's pretty good. Our piece, so we could do that one. Anyway, until next time, Chris Penn's brother is a shithead. <laughs> oh, you stole mine. <laughs> really? <laughs> Uh, but, but, but my neighbors are shithead for getting me in trouble. <laughs> Get yelled at. Get yelled at as an adult. The worst thing. <laughs> Drew Sarian is a shithead for calling me a chink girl. <laughs> Fair. 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 Twice. 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 Okay, well, now i got to think of something else because he stole mine. Um, no, fuck it. Sean Penn's a shithead. <laughs> <laughs> a rare double vote. <laughs> and Nick. Me, Universal Studios Orlando is a shit <laughs> for taking out the Jaws ride, you stupid fucker. <laughs> <laughs>